Alabama in the final four ran into a hot UConn team. We're going to get into the game and what the season meant for the Crimson Tide basketball program. And Kalen DeBoer spoke to the media, gave us a little clarity on Parker Brailsford and what's going on with Jaden Roberts. We're going to get into that right here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Let's talk some Alabama. I would say football, but we got some hoops to talk about. All that right here. And here's your invitation. Roll Tide. Sexy Elmo, Brett Elmore in the house. I'm Mick Gillespie at Broadcaster Mick. Um, I'm going to throw this out here to you, Brett. You ready? I'm you ready. ready to catch this. Roll Tide, baby. Roll Tide. Every day is a roll tide. Man, I'm I'm telling you, like win, lose, or draw. It's I, a roll tide. I, I know. I know. We didn't win the, the basketball game, but man, I'm just still. Those guys fought their asses off. Yeah. Their butts yeah. off, their behinds yeah. off, whatever you guys want to call it. I, there's no shame in that. No, there's not. They 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 played uh, they played well, but uh, UConn was just uh, they overpowered us there in the second half, and and it was uh, you know a four point game there at the half, and I tell you, it was uh, it was an exciting first half. Yep. Uh, Bama uh, started getting hot from behind the arc. Uh, you know, and I thought, well, here we go, you know, uh, let's see what happens here. But, um, uh, ended up, um, you know, 49%, they only hit 11 threes though. They took 28. I, I, I said our, our magic number was 14. Uh, and that was, you know, right pretty close. It. Yeah. yeah right, you know, right. 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 Close, but, uh, just not meant to be my friend, not meant to be. Yeah, I thought some of the officiating was, you know, a little bit BS too. You know, like, I mean, some of the fouls, I, I know we can sit here and talk about it. I, I'm not going to tell you that UConn wasn't the better team because I think they were. I mean, look, they got, they got just, yeah. they got a lot of good players. I mean, they're the defending national champions, but at the same time, some of those fouls, and I got to tell you, man, Grant Nelson, <laughs> 19 <laughs> points for it, 15 boards. You know, you like the, the 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 slim mustache and the and the dunk. I loved it. Oh, the dunk was incredible <laughs> over over the big guy, Donovan Klingon. Yeah, uh, Klingon ended up with eighteen points, so and five rebounds. Well, look was, at this! Like he got out. Look, man, he got outplayed by Grant. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Grant. Uh, I mean, he had a he had a good night, but. Just uh, wasn't meant to be the the you know when when you're shooting fifty percent from the floor like UConn was and you're that good anyway. Um, we knew Alabama was going to have to play a near perfect game, and they didn't. I mean, um, you know, seven turnovers compared to the four for UConn. Uh, I mean, and you look I, and like you mentioned the free throws. I mean, um, they shot eighteen free throws. And we shot 11, uh, but uh, we had a higher percentage from the free throw line. Right. Uh, The only thing we really won in the battle was uh, the three-point shooting. I mean, we were 48% from uh, behind the arc. They were 40%. Um, They out-rebounded us. Um, You know, they had eight block shots, um, four steals. They're a good Um, team, man. I mean, they're they're just just – They're just a really, really – Good team, and and I was uh, I was at a friend's house. And that's where I've been watching the whole tournament, and it's, it became like a tradition now. But uh, <laughs> you know, I was saying I thought that game last night was for the national championship. I thought both of those teams uh, could probably beat Purdue. Really, I do. Yeah, I do. Well, Brett, I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, as much as I love Alabama, I've got Purdue and Connecticut in all three brackets. And I mean, I felt like these were the two best teams all year. They, you know, Edie 
and 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 Klingon. And I mean, you you're you know, like you're going head to head. If we would have had Brandon Miller, you know, like I feel like it would have been a different game. But um, Mark Sears. I hope he comes back, man. I, I would love to see I, I, I him come too. back on more role, man. Twenty four more points. I, I love watching his mom on TV. Like <laughs> I'm just, I'm, a, I'm becoming a Mark Sears super fan. Oh yeah, Sears uh, finished up with twenty four points. Uh, he had three players in double figures. Um, Nelson Estrada had uh, what seemed to me like a um, a quiet thirteen points. Yeah, I know what um, you mean. Yeah, and. Uh, and let me say that I made that 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 prediction about the national championship in the first half. Did you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't in the second half. Well, um, Stevenson had no points, and and he was a guy who had came up so big last game, right? And in this game, he just wasn't able to do it. And right, Cell, of course, he was back, but he only had six points. Pringle with two. Uh, Griffin had eight. I mean, normally. You know, Mick, I've said it time and time again. I love the, um, you know, normally we have uh, four or five players at double figures. Mm -hmm. I only had three last night. So, yeah. Um, yeah, tough, tough loss. But uh, this team has nothing to be ashamed of. No, man. No. They, they played a heck of a game. Uh, they gave it their all. Uh, they made it to the final four for the first time in school history. This team is going to be remembered forever. Yeah. That first team that made it to the final four. And in the words of Coach Saban, I, I, this isn't the end. This is just the beginning, I believe, yeah. with, with Coach Oates. Yeah, me too, man. I'm really proud of him. I am too, yeah. And I, I'm proud of what – first off, as a guy who grew up like as a basketball super fan, I never thought that I would see Alabama – at this point, you know, we're, we're like right on the cusp, I think, of becoming a legitimate top 10 program. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. And, Never and, thought and, I'd see it. Yeah, yeah, that, that, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, in the second half, it was a game of runs, you know, 7-0 mm -hmm. run, then you swap to a 7-0 run, you go to 8-0 run, you know, a game of runs there in the second half. And we just didn't have that last run left in us. Um, and... We the didn't have school. the horses we, we had last year. You know what I mean? There's right, no right. Brandon Miller on the right. team, you know? Right. right. And and the score is, uh, to me, uh, is not indicative of how this, you know, turned out. You know, it was a 14-point a, a win for, for UConn, you know, but they pulled away there uh, mid, midway through the second half to late in the second half. And we, we didn't go out down without a fight. I right. mean, uh, but, but – uh, it's all over over with and and a great season but um i'm telling you man I, I i love what this basketball program is doing i love what coach Oates is doing and uh like i say we're gonna be back i do believe well we, we have UConn's gonna win this thing monday night you think so yeah well i i, I think you're right uh, it's not like we ever went anywhere. I mean, we've been at the top of the SEC now for five seasons, right? True, Whether true. we yeah, won it yeah. or we got close. But this was the first time where we actually like took a step in the tournament. You know, it, right. it's it's so tough to win the Sweet 16 game. Like that's that's where like there's a cliff there. And to get past that point is a huge deal. Right. And so now that we've gotten past that, I think that this is going to give – you know, people that have NIL money, a lot more confidence in investing in basketball. I think Nate Oates is going to be able to open up a lot more doors. You saw the two McDonald's All-Americans that are coming to Alabama play. You know, hopefully Sears comes back. But uh, it's, it's a proud moment uh, as just as an Alabama fan, you know, to, to yeah. see your team in the Final Four. And, you know, it's not like we went out there and, and, and got blown out. I mean, this was a really close game. They're a better team. And I and I, I I'm gonna say that. I mean, they're a better team. I knew that when this game started, but man, I was impressed with the way that we went out there and kind of stood face to face with those guys and hung with them. Um, they had to this play a good game to beat us. And remember, this is a team that lost eleven games going into this one. Oh, Alabama, yeah. You know, I mean, and 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 
and, yeah. and they played really well. Finished up uh, the season twenty five and and twelve, mm-hmm. and uh, I just think that's that's great. Finished up the SEC thirteen and five. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah. Now now you get into the off season and Estrada is is the one that is just completely uh, exhausted his eligibility. But you're going to have guys that's going to be making pro decisions, like you mentioned, like uh, Sears. Uh, you know, will he uh, decide to to try to go on the draft or what What will happen there in the offseason? But we'll see. Uh, but uh, now we turn our focus back to football. Yep, you're right. And we're going to talk football right now. Uh, Kalen DeBoer spoke today uh, or actually yesterday to the media and talked about practice. And there's a couple of things that we wanted to focus on just for this show. And there's a lot of things that he talked about in the, in the press conference we could get into, but we, we put it down to two things. Uh, first thing is that Jaden Roberts got hurt. He's going to talk about that. And then the other thing is what's going on with Parker Brailsford, right? Where's that guy? What's that guy doing? So he's let's listen to him, and then you and I are going to kind of crunch this together. All right, so yeah. we'll see what he had to say, and then we'll kind of get into this. Uh, and I think it's honestly, I mean, not to like give it away, but I think it's good on both fronts. How do we know about Jaden? Uh, Jaden's going to be fine. Um, he might might be down for a little bit here. Might be fine. Um, we'll do some follow up evaluations, uh, but early early reports, anyways. Feels like uh, it'd be nothing major. So, <clears throat> in regards to Parker, um, you know, Parker's just going through some non-football uh, related things, and um, you know, he's gonna be with us. And so, uh, he's working out with our with our strength staff, and uh, done a great job there. He's never done anything wrong. It's nothing like that. Uh, he's working hard, and you know, um, he's uh, he's gonna be ready to go uh, here sooner than later. So, we're just taking it day by day. All right, that's good news. You know, that's yeah, good news yeah, really. because, you know, yesterday I'm wa- or, you know, a couple days ago, I'm watching it. I'm going, and this guy is Brailsford must be just like ready to roll out of town because he didn't win the competition, you know, and, and, the, and the tea leaves kind of said that. And then you hear that and it's like, OK, whatever he's got going on, we all have sh- stuff going on in our personal life. I was going to say a, a word that started with S, but you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I get that. And we're all just people. But the but the fact that DeBoer saying that hey he's coming back I think that's a great thing for Alabama I think the other thing that's great is that brockermeyer has been fantastic so far in camp and then that Roberts isn't you know he's banged up he he got he got injured but that we're not looking at an injury like Hale where he's going to be gone for a long time yeah I, I, that that is good news and and um. I think someone had posted on one of the social media <clears throat> channels that uh, uh, there was a, a, a sighting of him there on campus the other day. And so uh, it looks like he's, he's just going through some personal stuff, personal issues, and and, and we'll see what happens. I, um, but it, I hope he doesn't transfer out. I hope he sticks with us. Yeah, and I mean it's important for the program too because you got to have depth in these spots, right? Brailsford, first off, talking about Brailsford, I mean, we knew Brockermeyer could play, right? Yeah. But we what we saw last year is that a center can ruin your whole season. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, so yeah, I, you're right. So it'd be good to have two options there, and they're two really good players. So I mean. Um, uh, I just think that um, we're going to have to, um, you know, they scrimmaged yesterday, and um, uh, it, it, things look like it's it's on the upward swing. I'm sorry, I, I got distracted there for a second, but uh, um, anyway, what, they, distra- uh, what, did, what, what did you get distracted by? You, well, you th- I, there was something that popped up on my screen here, and I do not know what it is, and and anyway, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, and I, and I was trying to, uh, you know, see what it was to kind of close out. I don't know what's going on with my computer, but anyway, they got your passwords. They, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've I've uh, got an email from Microsoft where uh, uh, it was a security note about the Russians trying to get into my account. Oh, Seriously. just ignore that. Uh, I don't know, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> um, 
the center position is very important, yeah. uh, Mick, and 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 it's it, it's going to be good to have two options there that both guys, uh, uh, you know, can play. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm totally with you on that. So. Now it's time to focus back on football. It's time to pivot back to spring green, uh, spring, spring game, not in Spain, but spring. And that is coming up on Saturday, man. So we got a whole week of coverage of Alabama football, and then we actually have a game on Saturday. Yeah, an eight-day game finally is coming up on Saturday. And they scrimmaged yesterday. Some of the news out of that scrimmage uh, was um, – uh, Ty Simpson showing uh, showing off. Yeah, what if what if what is that? Right, where's this yeah. been? Come on, Ty, we've been waiting on you, man. Uh huh. We've been waiting on you, Ty, and apparently he's showing out. Uh, Milro uh, and uh, uh, Team White uh, uh, finished the uh, scrimmage really, really strong. And another week where apparently neither quarterback is responsible for a turnover. Nice. And uh, some really good news uh, coming out about Jam Miller. Uh, you know, uh, they say he's a beast. So yeah, we've been I, seeing this, but now it's time to really see it. Yeah, it's it's time, baby. It's time. So uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so uh, we, we turn our attention to A Day, and all week long, of course, we'll be talking about that. And yeah, here we and go. It'll be exciting. Probably more exciting. Then that one down in southern the southern part of Alabama yesterday, where they 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 kicked like five field goals and I think they scored a touchdown. Uh, it was it was it was pretty bad. No, yeah, no. It's a, this is a different thing, man. I, I feel like even with Coach DeBoer, I'm really confident in where Alabama's going, and I think that this team is going to be hungry. And I like I like what I'm seeing, and it's good news that Roberts wasn't really injured that bad. And we got a whole week, and then we got football on Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I and I got to tell you, just as an alumnus of Alabama and somebody that loves Alabama sports, including basketball, honestly, man, I'm really proud of this team, man. I, I and I kind of just want to leave it at the end of the show there. Like, how cool is it that we got to the Final Four, and and that Nate Oates is signed and he's going to be around and to see where we can go instead of just making it to the final four, where our goal is to win the whole thing. I think we can do it. I do too. And it's sort of like Ryland Griffin said after the game last night, been to the sweet 16, been to the elite eight, been to the final four. He said, my next goal is a championship. That's right. Let's get this right here. Ring on the finger. All right. For Big Sexy Elmo, I'm Mick Gillespie reminding you guys a couple of things. First off, the show's brought to you by newlifeart.com. Bama Tailgate is the code, 15% off, fourth and 31. We're going to throw some uh, – you better use that code fast because you want that print, which is obviously one of – I think one of the greatest plays in Alabama football history and maybe the most beautiful – picture that daniel moore's ever painted uh but you can use that for 15 percent off and then tell everyone about you wjlx and you do i mean i you're on in the mornings i heard you on saturday you're on a lot yeah yeah i am and uh, i guess I when you own it you're on you're on yeah, when you yeah. own the station you got to be on there uh so wjlx1015.com <laughs> uh tune in uh if you like great uh, classic rock uh, classic hits. Uh, you'll love the, the you'll love the station, and uh, you'll love my show too. Six until ten, uh, weekday mornings, and uh, so tune in. Love to have. You. All right, the Sunday rollback. Catfish is out of action. He's sick. We're gonna get back to you guys soon, but let me give you this as a consolation prize. They call him Big Sexy. Coming at you from the Walker County. Jasper is his hometown. He's no forgiving free right now. Oh, big sexy. Throwing out those Alabama thoughts. Sneaking out your mom's window without getting caught. Nick gives you the XP, but Big Elmo is here to please. Big sexy Elmo on the Bama Town. 